Imagine stumbling through a dense jungle, far from civilization, where the only sounds are the rustling of leaves and the calls of distant animals. Then suddenly, you find yourself in the shadow of a massive rock rising 200 meters above the forest floor, an isolated monolith, almost as if dropped from the heavens. For Major Jonathan Forbes in 1831, this wasn't just a moment of awe, it was the beginning of a profound mystery. What Forbes discovered that day was Sigiria, a forgotten city that had been cloaked in secrecy for centuries, waiting patiently beneath layers of vegetation for its secrets to be uncovered. This giant rock, now known as the Lion Rock, seemed to whisper ancient stories to Forbes, tales of kings, hidden treasures, and mysterious powers. But one question dominated his mind. How had ancient people managed to build a city atop such an unreachable place? When he looked closer, Forbes realized something remarkable. There were no steps or paths leading to the summit. No evidence of an accessible route at all. The city seemed as though it had materialized on top of the rock, defying the laws of physics and logic. Forbes soon sought answers from local Buddhist monks and villagers, hoping they could shed light on this astonishing construction. What they told him, however, only deepened the mystery. According to the local lore, the ancient builders didn't need stairs or paths. They had simply flown to the top. Did this mean they possessed some form of ancient technology, now lost to time? Or was it a symbol of otherworldly knowledge? Could these builders have wielded powers beyond our understanding, powers that allowed them to defy gravity itself? This hidden city, covered by centuries of legends and whispers, continues to intrigue scholars and seekers alike. Siguria wasn't just a fortress, it was a masterpiece of engineering, an ancient city filled with secrets of an era long gone. But perhaps the most pressing question remains unanswered. What purpose did Siguria truly serve, and who were the mysterious people who built it? Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. The Kingdom of Kasapa, the legend of a king. The story of Siguria is deeply tied to the legend of King Kasapa, a ruler with a mysterious and controversial past. Kasapa was never meant to be king. Born to a lesser queen, he lived in the shadow of his half-brother, Mogalana, the rightful heir. But Kasapa was ambitious and seized power through a violent coup. It's said he imprisoned his own father to take the throne, forcing Mogalana to flee to India, where he plotted his revenge. With the throne now his, Kasapa needed a stronghold to defend himself against his brother's inevitable return. Sigiriya, a massive rock fortress with natural defenses, seemed the perfect choice. Kasapa didn't just make it a fortress, he transformed it into a paradise on earth, blending luxury with strategy. The city atop Sigiriya became his grand vision, a place of palaces, gardens, and fountains, all surrounded by breathtaking views. But Kasapa didn't see himself as just a king. He viewed himself as something greater, a near-divine figure who was destined to rule from a heavenly seat. Some say he believed he was fulfilling a divine mission by building Sigiriya, creating a place where the earthly and the heavenly could meet. Was this just Kasapa's pride and ambition? Or did he truly believe in a higher purpose for his kingdom? And if Sigiriya was more than a fortress, could it have held spiritual or mystical significance for the ancient world? The architectural marvels of Sigiriya. Sigiriya's design is as mysterious as its history. Built on top of a massive rock, the city's layout reveals an advanced knowledge of architecture and engineering. Archaeologists have noted that the main structure resembles a stepped pyramid, similar to ancient pyramids found thousands of miles away in places like Teotihuacan in Mexico. How could such similar designs appear in distant civilizations with no known connection? This has sparked theories that Sigiriya's builders may have been influenced by ancient knowledge shared across the globe. Surrounding the rock is a network of gardens, some of the oldest landscaped gardens in the world, with features that show a mastery of water management. Sigiriya's builders created intricate underground irrigation systems, carving channels into the rock to supply water to fountains and pools throughout the gardens. What's even more astonishing is that these fountains still function during the rainy season, thousands of years after they were built. The ancient engineers understood hydraulic principles that modern experts still marvel at today. 
Some researchers believe that Sigiria's layout may also be aligned with celestial patterns, suggesting that the city was designed as a reflection of the universe itself. This connection between architecture and astronomy raises even more questions. Was Sigiria simply a royal fortress, or was it created as a place of spiritual or cosmic significance? Where did these ancient builders gain such knowledge, and could some of it have come from sources lost to history? The Mirror Wall and Mysterious Murals One of Sigiria's most fascinating features is the Mirror Wall. This wall was polished so highly that the king could see his own reflection as he walked past. Over the centuries, visitors to Sigiria left their mark on this wall, carving poems and messages that reveal the awe people felt when they came here. These inscriptions give us a glimpse into the lives and thoughts of ancient travelers who were as captivated by Sigiria's beauty and mystery as we are today. Then there are the murals, paintings that depict beautiful women floating in the clouds, dressed in vibrant colors and adorned with jewels. These women have sparked endless debate. Some believe they represent celestial beings or goddesses, while others think they could be Kasapa's queens or women of the royal court. Their mysterious expressions and graceful poses seem to belong to a world beyond our own. What was the true purpose of these murals? Were they simply artistic decorations, or did they hold a deeper meaning, possibly religious or spiritual? The style and subject of these paintings are unique, unlike anything else in ancient Sri Lankan art. Could these figures have symbolized ideals of beauty, divinity, or even cosmic forces that Kasapa or his people worshipped? Siguria's mirror wall and murals add another layer to its mystery, inviting us to wonder about the people who created them and the secrets they left behind. Theories and Controversies Siguria has been the center of debate and mystery for years, with historians, archaeologists, and even conspiracy theorists fascinated by its origins. According to traditional accounts, Sigiriya was built by King Kasapa as his royal fortress, but some experts question whether Kasapa was truly its creator. They suggest that the site could be much older, possibly dating back to a civilization that existed long before his time. Could it have been a sacred place, or an ancient center of power, lost to history and only later adapted by Kasapa? One of the most intriguing theories proposes that Sigiria's construction might have been influenced by advanced knowledge, perhaps even knowledge beyond our planet. The step design of Sigiria's main structure is remarkably similar to pyramid-like structures found in other parts of the world, from Central America to Egypt. How could such similar architectural styles appear across different, isolated civilizations? This leads some to speculate about a lost, shared source of knowledge, possibly an advanced civilization that spread architectural ideas globally. Another controversial theory claims that Sigiriya might have served as a stargate or portal, a site for communication with beings from other worlds. The city's unusual location combined with its celestial alignments has fueled speculation that it was chosen not just for strategic purposes, but for its possible connection to cosmic energies or otherworldly visitors. Local legends hint at supernatural elements, and the belief that Sigiriya's builders flew to the summit only adds to the mystery. While these theories are not widely accepted in the academic world, the unusual features of Sigiriya continue to raise questions. Could this ancient site hold secrets about lost civilizations, forgotten knowledge, or unexplained encounters? Was Sigiriya purely a human achievement, or does it hold hints of something much bigger? something beyond the boundaries of conventional history. The mysteries of Sigiriya inspire us to keep exploring and questioning the stories of our past. Legacy of Sigiriya and the Search for Answers As you stand before the towering rock of Sigiriya, it's hard not to feel the weight of history pressing down. Sigiriya isn't just a fortress or an ancient palace. It's a doorway to a time filled with mystery, ambition, and advanced knowledge that still puzzles us today. Sigiriya's legacy is complex, inspiring wonder while leaving behind so many unanswered questions about the people who created it and the secrets they carried with them. For centuries, Sigiriya has stood as a symbol of strength, beauty, and mystery in Sri Lanka, a place where history meets legend. But for all its grandeur, we still don't fully understand why it was built. 
Was it simply a defensive stronghold for a king, or did it hold a spiritual significance? Was it a place where earth and sky connected, a site chosen for its alignment with the stars and its possible cosmic connections? The answers remain hidden within its walls, waiting for us to uncover them. Today, Sigiriya is a source of national pride and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, drawing people from all over the world who come to marvel at its beauty and puzzle over its mysteries. Each visitor, each scholar, each seeker of secrets brings with them a hope that maybe, with careful study and open minds, we can uncover more about Sigiriya's true story. But perhaps part of Sigiriya's magic lies in its mystery, in the questions it leaves unanswered, drawing us back time and again to wonder about the minds and beliefs of those who lived there. Was Sigiriya the crowning achievement of an ancient king or a sacred site of cosmic power? Or is it something even beyond our current understanding? Sigiriya reminds us that history is not always clear-cut and that ancient people may have known more than we think. It invites us to keep searching, keep questioning, and keep exploring.